Look. Look. Absolute coordinates. You're not supposed to be able to get absolute coordinates out of a programming block. But you can ask a laser antenna where it's pointed. And if it's pointed at another laser antenna and they're linked up, then the two of them will follow each other. And as long as you maintain contact, you'll always know where the other ship is. And if you have two laser antennas that happen to be pointed at them at each other and they're on the same ship, then you'll always know where your ship is. So with three laser antennas, I can always tell where I am, and I can always tell where the mothership is. And if I only have two laser antennas, I can still go ahead and tell, uh, you know, where I, if I have a specific landing spot, I can just have it hard coded to go to a specific place or through specific waypoints. Unfortunately, laser antennas are extremely expensive. If we look at this, when they're not on, they cost 60 kilowatt hours, which is slightly more than half of a small reactor. But when they're on, it's 180 kilowatt hours, which is two small reactors. So that means that you're not going to have any small drones able to do this. If we look at the large reactors, the large reactors uh, give us plenty of energy, but we need to be careful about the small ships. Basically, if you have small reactors, you need six of them just to power your location stuff. And you can't turn it off, because if you turn it off, you'll lose connection, and you'll never be able to get it back unless, it's, unless you don't move at all. Um, so, this is something I can only do on large drones. But, it means I can build large drones that can fly themselves. If they know where they are, and they know where you are, then they can follow you in formation. If they have a patrol route, they can go on patrol. If they're mining, you can just mine, you can just tag a location as, you know, gold or whatever. Come back, paste those coordinates in, and they will be able to go and mine that area out. There's actually even more to this, though, because it turns out you can paste into these as an action, which means that if you correctly copy a location into your clipboard, it can automatically get transmitted to every ship in your fleet. You don't have to be at the ships. So if you copy it, then your ships can try and paste that location into their laser antennas automatically uh, and try and connect automatically. And even if they don't connect, they'll have that location pinned as a target. And that means that you can send commands to your fleet. You can send commands by having those commands cod codified in XYZ format, even if it's not actual coordinates. Like if it's like, you know, 16 stands for uh, stands for open fire, or 8 stands for something like that. Even if those are not uh, actual coordinates, you can copy them into your clipboard, and then they can automatically propagate out to the ships. And that will work, even if your antennas are passive, and are only sucking down 60 kilowatts. So this is really powerful. I can do flights, I can do commands that are decentralized, I can do all of this stuff, and it's got a 20 uh, kilometer range, because that happens to be the, the maximum, I think it's, I might, no, it's a 2 kilometer range. It's got a 2 kilometer range, because that's, that's the maximum on the small ship uh, radio antenna. But that's 2 kilometers that your ship can play around in. And it works even beyond that, because if you've got them pointed at themselves, they'll always know where they are, and they'll always know where they were last looking. So you can send out a ship to an asteroid that's 50,000 kilometers away. It can go all the way out, and then it can come all the way home, as long as it knows the coordinates of home.